Today, we're at Leaf Trading Cards in Dallas, Texas. We're gonna get a behind the scenes look at how hobby boxes are put together and a sneak peek at some of their big upcoming releases. All right, what's going on guys? We are here with Josh Panko of Leaf, president of yes, Leaf. Yes, sir. Josh, first off, appreciate you, uh, appreciate you having Thank us. Thank you for stopping by, this is awesome. So what are we, uh, what are we gonna do today? We've got a very exciting sneak peek at some of the stuff we've done and okay. some of the stuff we're doing. Uh, a lot of this is, we've never shown anyone kind of what we do, so we're excited to show you and your, you know, all your collectors and customers that follow you. Cool. Uh, we're gonna show the back, we're gonna show the cards, we're gonna show how we make cases, we're okay. gonna show how we collate, uh, we're gonna show you some upcoming cards from new products that are coming out so i've heard some you know, I heard some good patch autos right there, there. there's some amazing patch autos yeah. there's some amazing multi-sign cards okay. so we're excited to show everybody kind of what we do and how we do it i don't think people truly understand the process okay. you know we get a card in from the printer and it's just a card and then yeah. we've got to put a sticker on it we've got to put it in a holder we've got to collate it we got to put it in a box shrink wrap the box there's a lot that goes into and it. all that happens all here. that happens here uh, so we're the only manufacturers that pretty much do everything by hand outside of the printing. Obviously, we have to outsource that. Yeah, Out sure. Other than the printing, we handle everything. So we sticker the cards, we holderize the cards, we collate, and every single product we do is collated by hand outside of a couple of retail blaster items. Wow. So it's a lot of work. Yeah, no kidding. We feel like it makes the end result worth it for the consumer. And at the end of the day, we want them to have a fun and pleasurable experience opening or What's the point of all of this? Sure. So we're gonna show you some stuff that's really, really, really cool. So we're all right, excited. let's go get into it. I'm uh, I'm excited to see this. Thank you. Wow. So guys, this is the place where the magic happens here at Leaf. This is where we do all of our collating, stickering the autograph cards. The cards come in to us from the printer, pretty you know basic without the stickers on them. Okay. We put all the stickers on them, put them in holders, and then we collate them. So we're gonna give you guys an inside look on how we collate Art of Sport today. Now this okay. product releases next week. It's a high-end multi-sport product, four hits per box. We also have a solo edition that we created for this product where you get one hit. So it's a little bit cheaper alternative for people if they sure. can't buy the full box. Sure. Uh, so Greg over here, head of product development, he's building some cases. We'll hop on up over there and show you how we do it. Cool. So like this is a case that he already collated. So you can pull it over here so like, you can see the card, that's a John Daly triple mem, and a Derrick Rose six mem, okay. Steve Atwater autograph, so I'm guessing there's probably gonna be a pretty big hit there. And there you go, Anthony Edwards, Trey Young, and Tyler Hero triple auto. There you go, rule of three, that's pretty and cool And then card. Like, here's the next box from this case. That's a That's a nice patch. Mbappe that. triple patch. Look at that patch. Yeah, PSG patch. Wow, another cool. We've got an eight way with you know, Walter this is Payton. this is a good mix of multi-sport. This is why multi-sport is fun for us because we can mix sports. Yeah. So you know, Walter Payton, Johnny Bench, Julius Irving, Leon Spinks, uh, Guy Lafleur, Reggie Jackson, Bjorn Borg, and Pete Rose. We got an auto from Greg Maddox, and then a dual jersey auto: Pete, uh, Pedro Martinez, and Juan Marichal. Out of ten, what a cool box! How many boxes in a so case? So there's ten boxes in a case. Ten this boxes. is actually a booklet auto of Giannis. That's a really cool patch. That's a heck of a box right here. Yeah, so that's uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Kobe. Tag patch. Tag patch of Ronaldo. You've got a jumbo swatch of Ben Wallace, number to two, and then a Ladanian Tomlinson auto. And the booklet auto is Giannis. Cool. Griffey, triple patch, triple jersey. And remember, all of this is game use, so none of this is player worn. Every single card in here is game use. We like that. Don Shula, six way. Robert Parrish auto, I'm guessing there's another good auto there. There you go, Carlos oh, wow. Alcaraz. That's a good auto. Yeah. Yeah. And then these are the other five boxes. So that's five. So that's five. Yeah. Solid start. So Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, dual jersey. Okay. You got a oh, four-way wow. for the best quarterbacks ever in football. Good looking card. Yeah, those are nice looking. Charles oh, Leclerc, big F1. F1. And then Mike Tyson. I love this design. Cool box. That's an wow. amazing Pele triple patch, number to three. Game worn. Game worn. Wow. That's a Payne Stewart shirt. Jerry West auto. And oh, look wow. at that. Quad auto, Erling Holland, Pedri, Vinny Jr., and Gavi. Out of six. Last box. I love that card. Pedro Martinez, dual jersey auto. Randy Johnson, dual jersey auto. Shaq auto. 
and Damian Lillard auto. And that box has four autos. So every box has at least two autos, okay. but some of them are going to have three, and then there's going to be occasionally ones with four. Gotcha. So, so this is Greg building a case. Okay. So first he lays out, you know, the best 10 cards. So okay. this will be the box it, well, essentially. This is layer one, as I call it. So every case gets four multi signs. Okay. So I'll lay those out first, then you get upwards of two to three Super A's. This one has Holland and Giannis. Okay. And then you get the other A's, there's Tyson. So I mean, your worst box in this case is going to get a John Elway autograph. Okay. That's your very worst scenario, which okay. is pretty good. And that's a really yeah, cool, so this is, these are two sports. So that's a picture of John Elway playing baseball. So we've got like Frank Thomas in there. Who else is, is Bo Jackson Bo in Jackson, there? Bo Jackson, Barry Sanders, Larry Bird. So a lot of them went and found high school photos of them or college photos of them playing another sport. Right. Gotcha. Which is a pretty cool idea. And the next layer is a second auto in the box. So okay. I'll go through, okay, so Gary Payton, you know, Hall of Famer, but you know, not the strongest name. Maybe I'll lay him on there. Uh, Balogun's is still a good name. Go with Ewing. Okay. Gail Goodrich, great player, but not the most valuable. He's going to go with, once you get that yeah. ball under your pile. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. Richard Petty, legend, so I can put him there. Sean Kemp, I'll put him there because that's a very good autograph right there. Yeah, that's Alejandro Garnacho, so which he sells for a ton. Multi -sign, like, that's not a week, obviously, two Hall of Fame best, but sure. so I'll put that one there. Um, Del Piero, who actually sells pretty good right he now. He does sell good. Yeah. Go with there. Jim Palmer, Hall of Fame legend, but doesn't sell. Sure. Giannis, you can't go wrong. Doesn't matter what you put in that. Yeah, yeah. And then Darling Mike Tyson winning. book, I wish I had that opened. And this, he sells pretty well. He does. It's Rude Hoolet. Right, so then you go the to the next mix. Chelsea legend. Be, um, memorabilia. Okay. So now, generally I know these are going to be your stronger hits. So okay. if I get a multi like that, which is cool, I'll go to the bottom row. These are some of the lesser hits, but still cool. You can see they're in extra autos for some. Jason Kidd, that's a Cal jersey. Okay. That's really cool. Game, use Cal. And Mike Schmidt, so put that there. And the cool. last there, and the box is already strong, and then you're getting... So every case gets, and there's not, you know, Bartolo Colon auto, dual mem. That's 101. Schilling and Randy Johnson. That's cool. That's a cool patch. Look at that. Can I see that? Oh, absolutely. Look at that patch. Yeah, Neymar and Vinny Jr. And Patches Vinny Jr. is hot right now. And that's one of my favorite, the um, work of art, one of the inserts. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. Yeah. I, I mean, cool so can I see this box? Yeah, yeah for sure. So this is what one box would look like. You just put this together. And these boxes are around $400 on the open market. 400 a box. That's about 100 350 to 400 So you've got a Pele, Art of Sport, out of, was that 35? Is that right? Uh, yes, 35. 35. All right. I believe that's the highest number. And then yes. Jim Cat, the exhibit, six piece, again, a game worn. You have a good and auto at a 15. And then there's your big hit right there. So a quad, two of three, Emma Smith, Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson, Jerome Bettis. And, and that's, that's kind of thinking. why you get like sorry to cut sure. you off. That's why you get like a good auto and the Jim yeah, sure, jersey. Yeah, sure, They can't all be quad right. autos. So if we put you know the Holland Foden or that that Vinny Junior Neymar on there, then we're probably over delivering for that box. Sure. So but we we'll over deliver. Yeah, and some of them are yeah. over delivered. Some of them are just you know it is. They're but even be like the lesser that. boxes, w w if they don't have the best auto like the quad, right? They're gonna have one of the best mem pieces for sure so and they're still probably going to get a barry sanders auto sure. like, so you're trying to distribute right. the value right. where it, even if you're not getting the best auto in the case right. you still have the chance to get one of the other good cards and right. the, sure. the value is for not sure. just crushing oh yeah that's a larry bird yeah, I'll, I'll with him playing two sport again i'll keep a little stack here on the side in case i feel the case is weak right and i want to make it stronger so okay yeah so he'll keep a stack or, in case he needs something right, right. So oh, you name the movie now you're young let's see if you can name the movie that's from <laughs> I, it's an awesome card. I don't There's only know if eight I of those even, in the product. Only eight duels? Wow. Of that, particular of that duel, yeah. Sylvester Stallone, Pele, Duel Auto 101. Can anybody else name the movie? I can't. So there was a movie in 1981 called Victory. Okay. Pele was in it. Sylvester Stallone played the goalie. Soccer okay. goalie, if you could believe that. 101, <laughs> in wow. That movie, yeah. So, and then when we do that, we have these young ladies. Yeah. So they put them in boxes. So this is what it looked like. That one's empty, but that's, yeah. So this is what it'll look like. And Very then they cool. put, we put tamper-proof stickers on both sides yep. to make sure, you know, no funny business. And then we can walk over there. So all the boxes get put into this machine and they get separated. So this is, these are all separated by cases. Okay. So the, each stack is a case to make sure that they don't get mixed. Gotcha. So he does them one case at a time. They go through here and then he puts them in the outer cardboard box. And then that machine tapes the top and bottom with the leaf tape. And then it also prints the label on the side of the box that'll say what the product is. Okay. And this is the finished, so this is a finished sealed case. So it'll say, this is printed on there. 
So we just recently got this machine. It's pretty cool. We used to have to print labels and put them on, yeah. but this is kind of a cool, makes it look a little yeah. bit more professional. Looks good. And, you know, it looks a little better than just putting a label on there. It yeah, also sure. saves us a bunch of time because this machine tapes the top and bottom and puts a label on. So we don't have to tape, we used to have to tape, you know, 1200 boxes and then put labels well, on so it saves a bunch of time yeah sure so, let's go over here okay. and we'll show you some of the cards that have come in that aren't autographed yet all right guys since we are here at leaf we figured we were going to do a giveaway as well so how about a box of the brand new leaf metal baseball a lot of different guys to pull in this some hall of famers like sandy koufax you got paul Skeens, volpe's in it ellie a lot of big names in this product we're going to give a box away so if you want to win a hobby box of leaf metal baseball all you got to do Drop a comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of this tour. What's the favorite card you've seen, favorite moment, whatever it is, drop a comment down below. We're gonna pick somebody to win this Leaf Metal Hobby Baseball and we'll send it to you for free. We separate them by player. Okay. So this is actually a, the bowling product. So okay. this is PBA. So it's these boxes are all separated by player, as you can see. So these are not autographed yet. So how long, it, how, like how early will you get this product in before it is like on the market? So a lot of it depends on the printing, like the ProSet Metal Football, that one's one will turn pretty fast. Okay. Uh, this is one that's been a little bit on the side just because it's a smaller print run. Okay. So we'll fit it in as soon as we can. What our goal is, is to have one product ship a week. We don't want to inundate our customers with two or three products in a week. So like this one, we've had the cards, but we didn't want it coming out the same week that Artist Sport comes out gotcha. or this product will get lost. Yeah. So we'll make sure that this product comes out in a week when we don't necessarily have anything else because we want we we try to make it where again one product per week so does that put you guys on pace for about 50 it's products roughly 50 a products year. a year yeah. uh, and look some like this product is significantly smaller than a lot so we still count this one so that way we which you know, look cash flow is always a, a problem for some people yeah, sure. we don't want to just run their credit cards every week for insane amounts of money we yeah. want to give them some time to breathe we want our products some time to breathe what, so what would you say the sport you make the most of is we make more multi-sport than anything gotcha. uh, and the reason for that is is because we're really the only company that can do multi-sport yeah. so that's really an advantage we have and as you can see like it's cool to be able to get a card that has yeah. like there's some cards that are you know erling holland and Carlos Alcaraz on the same card. Yeah. Like that's just cool that we can do that no one else can do. So sure. we do more multi-sport than anything. Next is probably football. Okay. So we do a lot of the football and baseball standalone. Yep. Uh, and then after that, it's just kind of everything else, just kind of when it fits. Oh, so I can show you this. This is actually Trinity football. Okay. So this is 2023 Trinity football. We started getting some of the cards. How far away are we from that? This is still a little ways because the mem takes a while to make. Okay. So the memorabilia, we're hoping this product is a March release. Okay. Uh, now what, these are the base auto. So like this is the Bo Nix one of one. Uh, so this whole box is Bo Nix. And you can see like all the names are written on the outside. Okay. So you can kind of see all the names that get will so be in the Brock product. Bowers. Yeah, so that's Brock Bowers. Solid, solid now, guy some to of these there. man, like Brian Brees never returned stickers. So we printed these cards. Those cards won't go into the product, obviously. Those, what we do is we typically leave them on ice in case he returns the stickers. Okay. And then we put them in Eclectic, which Eclectic is like a ma mix mash of all of our products. Makes tons of sense. So anything that comes in late, yeah, like we, that's what happened this Late redemption, year. guys. Yeah. A mecca. Okay. Yep. Can I so, see this? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. There we go. So what there are is there are actually eight black one-of-ones. Can I pull them out? Yeah, for sure. All right. So he said eight one-of-ones. There's ones. eight black one-of-ones. And then they have the, this is the, so that's kind of the, I guess you could call it real one-of-one. One. They're all one-of-ones. Okay. Like we make a black so there's version. There's that one. So there's black. So it's like purple, silver, gold, blue, green, hollow. Gold, yeah, hollow gold, and hollow then, gold. Yeah, was that red? red? Wow. Yeah. Eight one ones. Yeah. That's crazy. So, that's awesome. Yeah. So these cards come in, and then we sort them all by player. Okay. And that way, when we go to sticker them, it makes it a lot easier if they're shorted by player, because the last thing you want to do is sticker yeah. Igbuka with Elijah yeah. Higgins yeah. or you know whatever. Not so we separated idea. them all by player. And all the stickers are put on. Oh, they're all hand. They're put all on? hand put on. Yep. Okay. So we do all that in house. Uh, the most of the other companies the printer puts the stickers on okay we do all of that in-house a lot of that is is because we like to be able to control i mean the stickers are 
our livelihood. Like yeah, sure, without sure, those, sure. yeah. So we like to make sure that we keep those in house, gotcha. and we have inventory of them all the time. You know, they're in a locked room, all that. The other thing is, is a lot of the really expensive ones, myself or Adam or you know, will sticker those personally. Gotcha. To make like if we have a six-way autograph that's worth you know a couple thousand dollars, like we want to make sure those stickers are put on correctly and gotcha. you know all that. That's so, good. So these are actually the Definity. So okay. these are for Trinity Soccer. And, and this product's, this product this product's getting ready to come out. So we have all the cards for this. I'll show you the, all the patches in a second. Okay. So these are the Definity. So this is a insert that's just number to 10. There's no parallels. It's just an insert number to 10. Okay. And then these are the base for the Ultimate, or I'm sorry, Trinity Soccer. There's not as many base in, he, in this because we have all the auto patches. Yeah. So this, yeah. and this isn't nearly as big of a print run as the football. So we didn't need as many other cards to you know make up the boxes but then these are really cool so these are the steel Ooh, look at that yeah so these look at are this right there yeah, so that's check that these out. are called steel i'm covering his face and this is the one-on-one -on -one holland now an auto will go right over that, that auto will go over that so we white it out but then they also have i don't know where they are right now these are the clear so these are really cool as well so these are on acetate so the sticker will go right there Okay. And then we also have, this product also has base cards. So these are the steel base cards. So these are non-autographed. Oh. Absolutely. What but in autograph or in soccer, we really feel like what these will add value because there's a lot of big names, obviously, in soccer. So yeah, when you sure. get a messy one of one, even if your autograph isn't huge, a messy one of one probably pays for the box anyway. Sure. So then it doesn't, you'll still get a good, you'll still get a box hit auto, yep. but that just kind of helps. Uh, so we're starting to implement some base cards. We're you trying to- this with like uh, metal, baseball. Yeah. We're, and we're trying to do it systematically. We're like, art of sport, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like when you're buying that product, you don't care a about premium, a base card. Higher right. end product. But some of this stuff where we feel like base cards can really add to the value without costing us a ton of money. I mean, yep. we still have to pay to print them, but yeah. obviously you don't have to put an autograph on. Sure. And these are the auto patches. Oh my goodness, look at that. So like this is a box of Holland. So these are all- Look at this. These are all one-on-one Hollands. Now these ones actually just have jerseys, but I, like that's got a, half of the Puma head. Yeah, now, who makes the, the decision on, you know, I, I got to ask a fair yeah. question. You've got the one ones right here and you can see like this one right here is a one color. Right. But this one right here is numbered no. to like 15 right. and has a much cooler patch. So the black, who makes that decision? The, when we send them to the printer and to the guy who cuts them, we tell them, but the black one-on-ones, we don't put premium patches on typically because there's eight of them. So we don't want, you know, we want the real one-on-ones. So like if you see, let me see if the real one, we may not have stickered the real one-on-one, but like these are numbered two, two. So these we make sure have really good patches. And all game worn stuff. All game worn. Everything in Trinity Soccer is game worn. Oh, so there's the real one one. That's crazy. Look at that. With patch. the BVB logo. Now it's unfortunately it's the BVB. You know, this is Bruce Dortmund, yeah, yeah. and now he's on Man City. Yeah. But you'll like, take what you, yeah, you take it. I mean, it's not like he wasn't any good on Dortmund. Yeah, we're not going to turn on a game one. Right. So okay. these are also like. Let me get this. Is box that up. is that messy? That is messy. Sounds like a good box. Yeah, I think that's one you want to see. All right. So we got an entire box of messy patch autos. Not something I thought I'd be doing, <laughs> but here we are. So these are all the one ones. These are the black ones. Correct. So same eight colors. Yep, same eight colors for all. Color and we there. try and put patches, but we don't always, you know, on the blacks, we're not as worried. Gotta be careful. All right, so again, more one on ones, the black ones. And then you're gonna get into stuff like that. Look at that. Two of two. That is awesome. And then these are one of two. Look at the patches on these. Three of three, one of three. And then you get into some more stuff like this. Out of four, I gotta make sure I don't get them out of order. Oh, you're good. Two of four, anyway. three of four, four of four. The patches are incredible. <laughs> six of six. Wow. So as you can tell, let's just go to a random spot here, pull out a couple of random ones. Like even this one yeah, out of 20 Nike has a yeah. Nike logo on it. Six of 20. A couple more random ones here in the back. So these are out of 15. Well, that's 10 of 15. That's nine of 15. 8 of 15 with the Adidas patch, and then 7 of 15. Wow. Yeah, we're very excited about this product. I can imagine why. And then this is a real special one. So this is Pele. Oh, wow. So we didn't have enough stickers left to do. Like most of these, you can see, say 102 or 103. Yep. 
We didn't have enough stickers to do 103 of him, but we had 39 stickers left. Wow. So there's going to be 39 Pele. So we, of course, number the one of ones first. Okay. Oh now his, his, he signed larger stickers, so okay. they overlap a little bit, but no one's going to complain. No, not going to complain. So his jerseys, unfortunately, oftentimes are pretty basic because they didn't have all the crazy. Yeah. But as you can see, there are a few that have like, look oh at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's the true one of one. One of one, look at that patch. <laughs> Might be one of the sickest cards I've seen. That is disgusting. And so like there's one of two with a crazy patch. And I think the two of two is up front because we were taking some images of them to post on social media sure. and stuff. Like here's the yeah, ones like number to three. And his autograph, as you can see, unfortunately, is a little shaky. Sure, but, sure, sure. Yeah. You know, Patches, Patches are incredible. Patches are what Yeah, so make them. we're really excited. This is pretty much the last hurrah with Pele, unfortunately. Will it be? But we saved some uh, stickers for this product, so he'll have patch autos. So pretty That's cool. And I mean, you can crazy. see like Vinny Jr., yeah. Kamavinga, Lewandowski. Cristiano Ronaldo's on the bottom, Pedri. Foden, Ronaldo. Yep. Yeah, I mean, absolutely crazy just kind of seeing it in person, like just have boxes of messy and holland and pele patch autos getting ready to go in product and then to see how it's actually made and put together and the thought process behind like building a case where you have obviously really good auto really good box but even this you know the the worst auto has a really cool patch and just to see the process and like an entire box and case is completed here it's it's pretty cool to see so it's uh not something i really anticipated going like this i i don't know what i really had in my mind but the fact that it's all done here in house and you know they put it all together is, is pretty cool to see this will be box sets okay and then i mean look at that johnny bench pete rose tony perez griffey triple auto sandberg mark grace sammy sosa some booklets so these are gonna be like the box heads so like these would be the best 10 cards in a case, per se. Bradshaw, Long, Strahan, Jimmy Johnson, what an awesome quad. Schmidt, Rose, Lazinski, Bob Boone. This one, here's a couple. Brock Purdy, McCaffrey, and Debo, that's kind of cool. And then here's a basketball one. Edwards, Trey Young, Todd Hero again. And then a dual auto of uh, Molina and Pudge Rodriguez and then again you get in the next case and you're like oh cool is that Federer no no it's all it's all Steph Curry Dan Marino Quad Holland Hendrick Garnacho Pedri dual auto of Tyson and Fury triple auto of Steve Young Tittle Montana and then a triple auto of Sandberg, Grace, Sosa. Wow, could look at these all day. Some cool stuff. Well, first off, appreciate you having of us. Of course, this you're is, welcome. Uh, this is very insightful, and I think the the industry and some of our followers will will really enjoy this. But um, thanks for coming. We appreciate yeah. you taking the time to stop by, and uh, you know, we want people to be able to see the whole process because it's fun. Yeah, and I think that was what's cool is we really got to see a lot of it and. Again, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I, I didn't know this is how it, how it worked, yeah. but it's been it's been cool to see. So, um, so what's what's next? What's next for Leaf? We're very excited 24? about what's coming in 24. I mean, we've okay. you know obviously loading up on football and baseball products. They're not called draft anymore, so they're going to have okay. you know NIL. They're going to have some draft. They're going to have pro. They're going to have college. They're going to have retired. They're going to have legends. Kind of a mixture. A okay. um, little bit more pop culture than we've seen in the past for sure. And then certainly doubling down on the multi sport because that's really where you know, the collectors can get cards they can't get anywhere else. Yeah, you know, sure. when you can get a card of Rafael Nadal and Sergio Perez. You know, and be game used. Right, and yeah. all the game used. So we're very excited about that. We'll have a Pearl product coming out this year, which always does well. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet that we're really focusing on is inscriptions. Okay. So we're going after a lot of these people and asking them to sign inscriptions. Uh, we got Reggie Jackson to sign some amazing inscriptions, Magic Johnson, uh, Jerry West, and then a lot of the celebrities were getting them to inscribe a character name or a no, movie cool. they were in. So yeah. we're really trying to make it where it's unique cards that, you know, look, everybody wants cool cards. Sure. You know, as much as you want Jerry West autographs, you probably have one of those if you want one, yeah, sure. but when you can get one that says Mr. Clutch, 
that's really yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. You know, when you can get a Magic Johnson that he rides Showtime on, you yeah, know, really and then cool. when we can make a triple autograph with James Worthy and Michael Cooper and Magic, and they all say Showtime on them, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so really cool. We're really trying to do more of that, just to you know, keep it keep it fun and keep it interesting. New stuff that has never been done before. Yeah, the little details like the inscriptions, just the extra effort, all the game used stuff. It's 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 cool to see. So. Uh, I'm excited to watch. Yeah, we're excited and can't wait. You know, it's been a, a wild ride in sports cards in the last yeah, few years. Yeah, no kidding. But, you know, we're, uh, we're on board for the long haul and can't wait to see what the future holds. So, well, I appreciate you yeah, having us. Thank you. Josh. Appreciate it. Yeah, Ryan. thanks again. Yep. That's all I got for now, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. We have more videos coming from Leaf soon, but that's all I got for now. Peace, guys.